Hi, I'm Chris Antiman from Eastern Oregon. Uh, this new work started about 10 years ago with the exploration of the figurine, 18th century European figurines being the main focus. And the newer ones are a larger table centerpiece work that's completely in the round. That's why we've got this on a little spinner. And this one is Land of Milk and Honey. It came from the Bruegel the Elder's Land of Milk and Honey painting, where after they've eaten all the pie, all the soldiers are asleep laying on the ground. And I combined that with this Garden of Eden paradise. So they're all, they put down their, their baskets. They've already eaten the apples. They're starting to eat pie. And there's a keg of cider. So this is one of the largest pieces to date. I can't, um, with the kiln I have, I can't do any um, larger than this. And um, they're all porcelain. They're hand-built and press-molded. I make all of the figures and all of the parts myself and then cast them in plaster molds, reassemble them, do all the hand painting. And the process really starts for me with the concept, idea, and then um, make all the parts, fabricate all the molds, put every, start to assemble the stage set, and then go for all the figures, the characters, what parts they're playing. It's all glazed white, and then some of these color, saturated colors are added, fired one time, take it out of the kiln, and then I apply all these commercial decals that are intended for use on China and all of the faces are hand painted with enamels fired on and then the uh, gold luster is the last step. In uh, 2004 I started in the AI program, it's arts and industry. They bring artists into the Kohler factory and um, made all, all the models, all the molds at the factory and then slip cast everything. But some of the problems with moving the figures around, the slip was cracking, led me to this process of hand building and press molding everything. Occasionally I'll slip cast a fine detail or little parts if I need to, but I, I think this method gives me less, there's less stress on the porcelain and um, it gives me a lot more flexibility. When I'm looking at the resources of these older figurines, I look for something that I can connect to, and I recently lost my father and my father-in-law, so I was thinking of hoping there was a heaven for them and hoping there was a paradise, and in making this piece, that was one of the inspirations, but I also was making it for the New York show. I knew the stock market crashed, New Yorkers have to see this all the time, there's a lot of negativity out there, and I wanted to bring, with my work, some kind of positive message.